my name is Stephanie and I am with Mommy and Me Studios and welcome back to our kid video series where you come to create, imagine, and discover. You may have already noticed I'm missing my normal little helper. Well, this project is for decorating a playroom. We just recently renovated our basement and got some flooring in and now it's a great playroom for our kids except for one thing, it echoes so bad. And so I decided we needed things on the walls and this is one of the projects I decided we were going to do. So this is perfect for playrooms and such. And uh, if you have older kids, they could do it too, but I'm doing it for my playroom. Okay, so let's talk about what you need to gather. You need to gather some crayons, masking tape, your paper cutout, a eight by 10 canvas board, and then some tools you'll need is a cutting board, X-Acto knife, hot glue gun, and then either a blow dryer or a heat gun. So the first thing you need to do is decide what design you want for your paper cutout. I personally am going to do the letter J since his name is James and figured that would be perfect. You could do all kinds of things. I've seen some with umbrellas and things like that, but I'm choosing to use the initial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut out the J from the paper and I'm using the X-Acto knife because I want the hole left behind, not the J itself. Once that is done, you can actually go ahead and dispose of the other piece and we are going to be getting out our masking tape. What you're going to do is you're going to tear off pieces and connect it to the paper covering that design. Push it firmly to the paper, but try not to push it too firmly onto the cutting board yet because you don't want it to lose its tackiness. Now that that's done, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to cut out this portion of the tape and that's what's going to be going onto the board to help secure our design when we melt the crayons around it. When that is complete, you are now going to put it onto your canvas wherever you want it to be. Okay, make sure that's good and firmly down. I'm just gonna use another uh, tool. This is specifically like an envelope folder or card folder, uh, but you can really use anything that's firm to just make sure this is down all the way. Next step will be to choose your crayons. And one of the things I did with this particular project is I aimed for broken crayons because I want it to be like melted all the way down. There are designs you can use full crayons for, but I wanted this to be something that you would most likely already have in your house and you probably have broken crayons, or at least I do. <laughs> So I just, I selected a bunch of crayons, make sure that I pulled as much of the paper off as I could, and then broke them into even smaller pieces if I needed to, and we're going to be lining them up across the top. So I am going to grab my hot glue gun now, and I found it best, instead of gluing um, the crayon, where you will just melt the crayon because it's hot, you want to put the glue on the board and then put the crayon on top of it. And you don't really have a whole lot of wiggle room because with it being wax, it's super easy for it to melt. So pretty much where you place the crayon is where it's got to stay. So just keep that in mind as you're placing these. Okay, so as you may have noticed, I went ahead and cleared off my space right after I glued all of my broken crayons to the top here. And the reason for this is because it can get a little bit messy. Um, with the heating tool, it's more direct and has a higher concentration of heat and easier to control. It's still gonna spill though. Uh, and if you use a blow dryer, be warned, it will take a little bit longer to heat and it would be more likely to spray. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you cover your space and be good with the wax, you know, being able to get on whatever surface it is that's covered. Um, also, why I don't have James helping right now is because the heating tool does get very hot at the base. And so if you were to grab it wrong, he could get burned. But if you use a blow dryer and you're willing and you've got the space good, then a two-year-old could technically go ahead and do this project. 
So what we are going to do now is we're going to heat the crayons from the top down because our goal is to have a dripping down and surrounding this J so that we have a silhouette left over when we're ready to take the tape off. So you may have noticed that I went ahead and moved around and manipulated the drip a little bit to make sure that I was going to fully cover my design and make sure that that was going to be obvious when I remove that tape. Um, just be careful obviously because the crayon is, you know, the wax can be hot so try not to get it on yourself. You can see the different ways that this is blended on its way down so choosing different color schemes is going to get you different things so make sure you have fun with it. It does dry relatively quickly. Don't wait till it's dry all the way otherwise it will crack. Go ahead and use your X-Acto knife to find the edge of your tape. And you wanna aim for whatever was the last piece you put on on the back because then that's going to hopefully make it easier for it to peel up for you. And there we have our design. We would love to see you make your own creations, so if you do, make sure you take a picture and head over to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash mommyandmestudios and post a picture there so we can see. Also, make sure you like and subscribe, especially if you want to see more, and ring the bell to make sure you get the notifications. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you later. Bye!